Okay, so now you're going to learn about how to mask your puppet motions and layer them on top of one another to create a totally unique new animation. So as you can see, we already have our running motion here. So what I'm going to do next is go into the Mask tab and change my motion to this cheering motion here. You can see the full motion when I preview. But what I'm going to do is actually mask out the bottom part of his body so it will continue to run while his fists are pumping in the air. You can see the colors of the body parts change as I select them to mask them out. I'll go ahead now and slow down the speed of this chair to match that of his running speed a little better. Now when I preview, you can see that the rest of the body will maintain the running animation while the character's left arm will continue the cheering motion. So now when I record, you can see what the next level of this animation will look like. You can literally make thousands of combinations with various actions and body parts this way. Now I'm going to take it to the next level and use the Edit Motion Layer panel to create a more detailed edit. I want my character to point and nod at someone as he's running along. The Edit Motion Layer tool has the highest priority for animations and can be layered over anything. So the first thing I want to do is scrub my timeline ahead to a point in the animation where I want him to be in the middle of his point. Then select the marker from his right hand and click and drag it over into a straight pointing position. I can also use the E hotkey to rotate and then select the forearm to bring it to a more upright position. Now what I want to do is actually make the finger point. So I'm going to zoom in to show you how this is done. All I need to do is select the parent section of the finger and click and drag it out. All the other finger parts will follow suit. After that, I'll skip on over to his head and rotate that as well to face the direction his finger is pointing. I'll move the timeline ahead again slightly and give his head a faint nod, and then down once again. I'll then scrub to the part where I want his pointing action to be at its end. What I need to do here is simply press the reset key. This will create an automatic transition from the frame where my finger was at the extent of its pointing to the natural position of the run. So let's take a look at the playback. As you can see, my character will do his little point and nod and then continue on with his run. <laughs> 